Shadowed Battlegrounds presents The Last Stand of Edric the Bold. Edric stood amidst the throng of King Harold's army, the cold autumn wind whipping across the fields of Hastings. The year was 1066, and the fate of England hung in the balance. Edric, a seasoned warrior of 30 winners, felt the weight of his chainmail pressing down on his shoulders. He adjusted his grip on the hilt of his sword, the familiar weight a small comfort in the face of the unknown. Around him, the murmurs of his fellow soldiers filled the air, a mixture of fear, anticipation, and grim determination. They all knew what was at stake. The Normans, led by Duke William, had landed on English soil, and today they would either be repelled or England would fall to foreign rule. Edric's thoughts drifted to his family, safe in their village far to the north. He had promised his wife, Elfrida, that he would return to her and their young son, Osric. That promise felt like a lifeline now, something to hold on to in the chaos of battle. The horn blew, a deep resonant sound that cut through the clamor. The battle was about to begin. Edric took his place in the front line, alongside his comrades. King Harold mounted on his horse rode along the line, shouting words of encouragement. His presence bolstered the men, reminding them of their duty and their honor. As the Normans approached, Edric could see the banners of Duke William's army, the sight both impressive and terrifying. The ground shook as the Norman cavalry advanced, and the air was filled with the sound of marching feet, clanking armor, and the cries of men. The first clash was brutal. Edric swung his sword with all his might, the blade meeting resistance as it struck Norman shields and armor. He fought with a ferocity born of desperation, knowing that retreat was not an option. The shield wall held, and for a moment, it seemed as though they might withstand the onslaught. But the Normans were relentless. They feigned retreat, drawing some of Harold's men out of formation. It was a tactic Edric recognized too late. The Normans wheeled around, their cavalry crashing into the English lines with renewed vigor. Edric found himself separated from his unit, fighting desperately to stay on his feet. He parried a blow from a Norman knight, the force of the impact jarring his arm. Another enemy came at him, and Edric thrust his sword forward, the blade finding a gap in the man's armor. The Norman fell, but more took his place. The battle raged on, the sun high in the sky, casting long shadows across the blood-soaked field. Edric's strength began to wane, each swing of his sword slower than the last. He glanced around, seeking out the banner of his king. He saw Harold still fighting, but the situation was dire. The English line was breaking, and the Normans were pressing their advantage. A sudden pain seared through Edric's side. He looked down to see a Norman spear protruding from his body. The world around him seemed to slow as he fell to his knees. The sounds of battle grew distant and his vision blurred. In his final moments, Edric's thoughts returned to his family. He pictured Elfrida's smile, the way Osric's eyes lit up when he saw his father. He clung to those images as darkness closed in, his last breath a silent prayer for their safety. As the sun set on the battlefield of Hastings, Edric the Bold lay among the fallen, his sacrifice part of the tragic tapestry of history. The Normans had won, but the memory of those who fought bravely, like Edric, would endure, a testament to the spirit and resilience of the English people. If you like this story and want to see more, click on the icon top left. If you want to help support our channel, please hit the subscribe button on the top left. Thank you.